Hi everyone, I'm Adrian, Philip, Jay, we're from Audio Excellence Canada. Hope you're doing well. Um, today we're going to cover streaming basics. Now, there's quite a few videos already online. The few that I saw went quite deep. Uh, um, so um, a couple of uh, emails that I had received suggested that we maybe just cover the basics about uh, um, about the topic. So we'll, we'll do that. And of course, as usual, we'll devolve into you know, weird stuff. So, uh, no guarantee. Have you seen Jay's hair? <laughs> See, there you go. Another tangent. All right. The last video, um, Jay started. So video, uh, video, Philip, why don't you uh, take over? Well, how, I mean, really, it's a topic that is, is essentially a giant oh, so rabbit hole. Why, why don't I, why don't I do the broad outlines? By the really? way, I didn't, I, I spoke this topic you want me to the go guys. down. So, so uh, that's why it's it's a little bit sort of all it's over. It's true. Come on. So, um, why don't we why don't we just talk about um, what a streamer is just to start? Just a basic definition of what a streamer is, and then we'll go a little bit deeper as we need to. But just start start there. What is a streamer? It is a source. It is a computer. Okay. Made Bill, for what do you think? Just yeah, one or two sentences. What is a streamer? Uh, a streamer is a device that is uh, a computer based, no matter what you think, might think it is kind of like a little computer um, and it, 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 it takes, um, it, it is directing packets from something online to something in your place. Okay. So the best definition, the simplest definition I've, I've come across is, especially for the older generation like Villa, not me, uh, a streamer is, think of it as a tuner. It receives signals and then it plays it back. So so that's what, uh, uh, and I like that analogy. I think it, it, it makes a lot of sense, at least to me. So um, so think of a device where you connect it to the internet, whether it's uh, a wire or, or a Wi-Fi, you connect it to your network. And then once it's on your network, um, they can see music that you might have on your hard drives or uh, internet radio, or uh, in some cases from your phone, <clears throat> if you've got music on your phone, um, or music services like Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Tidal, etc. So that's that's what it is. It's basically- There's, there's, there's two things you're talking about here that are different. One is a server, which is local area based, and one is a streamer, which is what you, know, you can consider a wide area based. So streamer, the source is elsewhere. And internet radio, in a sense, is a rudimentary streamer because the resolution is relatively low. Okay, we, we, we agreed to keep it simple, so let's not go too far deep. But, but essentially but a streamer, yeah. some streamers have drives built in or they will take the signal from external drives but think of it as basically a tuner and 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 for for our basic 101 that will suffice um then uh what this are is, and this is where my friends would say just bluetooth <laughs> so then why do you need a streamer so jay why do you need a streamer well i'll tell you my experience then um so Initially, I thought the same thing. Why do you need a streamer? So I um, hooked, I bought like a small computer. I hooked it, hooked it up to my system and that was my source. Uh, and I guess in a way I was streaming, but not really. Um, so I was using a computer just like any, just like anyone who may be watching computer audio. And then, um, I put a streamer into my system and this was like, it was like a in, relatively inexpensive one. Um, I think it was like a render or something like that that I, I, I borrowed from a friend and um, just changed. It just changed everything. Like it was like going from the crappiest speaker to the sort of, you know, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not much, that much of a difference, but it was, it was just changed. And so I came and I asked Philip and, you know, we were talking back and forth. I checked forums, you know, I asked people and a lot of people have a similar type of experience. And I think the way I see it is going from, or well, depends on if you know headphones or not, but it's like going from a phone to a dedicated digital audio player. And 
that's like that it's like even bigger of a difference than that. So you're going to de- you're going to a dedicated computer that's made for audio and um you know you're you're streaming via Wi-Fi, which is which is not as good as Ethernet wired. Well, I'm saying you're st- streaming by Wi-Fi, which is Bluetooth is <laughs> well, Bluetooth is lossy yeah. yes. and Wi-Fi can be lossless. There you go. So that's why. Um, or not even compressed at all, which yeah. Koba is which, not which, compressed. Which, which brings me to the topic of Bluetooth, though. Um, <laughs> these, See how quickly we devolve? Yeah, chat is evolving. Can we even title it the basics of streaming? Basic, basics of streaming is, but that's simple. You just, you you need a little streaming device. Could be anything. Here, this, this is my advice, though. For, for anyone that is geared to get into streaming, because I certainly was, just get a streamer and try it out because go through the manual, ask people. It, it is very simple to set up a streamer. Um, I thought we'll, it was- We'll get to that point later. Yeah. Um, Philip, why streamer? And, and, and this, the question should also be more, uh, in this case, um, directed towards what are the benefits of streaming? He's ben- covered why- Well, the benefits of streaming. Are- so, okay, so the real kind of, um, basics of streaming is that one, you have an internet provider who's providing content. Two, you have a device that connects to the internet that can accept that content and then relay it to your audio system. So that's the basics of streaming. It doesn't matter what kind of content, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You have to have those three components. There's all sorts of different ways of doing it. So the advantage of having streaming the big 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 thing and um is that you can have the world's largest library at your beck and call you can you can use any component of it you can explore as much as you want or you can only listen to say the 10 records that you love or the 10 recordings you love the most it, it, there's no limitations on it it is it is the most democratized way of receiving music um, the services literally have millions and millions of files. So meaning if you were like, Hey, Jerry, you have to listen to this uh, at home. Yeah. I don't have to go. Oh, okay. And then go to a CD store. Right. The next week. So you never have to it. borrow Lindsay Sterling from me because <laughs> I won't own it, but you can listen to her latest recording on, on a streaming, streaming. service yes. or Adrian. I know you really like Billie Eilish. And so that's, you can listen to that and. <laughs> yeah. Well, Can the other manage. thing that's also interesting, I, I was first introduced to streaming, well, not first, but it became very conscious to me about how big the benefits could be when we started selling Sonos many years ago. And here is a little device where you connect it to the internet. <clears throat> and then suddenly, with the app, you could show clients uh, radio stations from all over the world. So we get clients from literally all over the world uh, because we're in Toronto. Um so clients would come in from, for example, from China, from Korea, <clears throat> and I would pull up the app and then select Asia and then select Korea. And mm-hmm. then all of the internet radio station, uh, all the radio stations that were um, broadcasting on the internet would pop up. And, and it was such a delight to see their eyes open and go, oh my God, look at the station, you know, because they remember when they used to live in Korea or Pakistan, wherever it is. And, and they would press play and then within a second or so, they start hearing uh, their own language playing back through the, st- through the stereo system and they would just buy the unit just to be able to do that. And imagine hundreds of thousands of radio stations, as an example, free, content free all the time. And that's, that's one of the wonderful things about streaming. Um, well, it's not free. Well, the internet radio is free. Oh, no, internet, internet radio is free. Yeah. Internet radio is free, but yeah. you can't choose the recording. Yeah, you, can you can't only... choose the content specifically, but if all you wanted to do was hear BBC, right? you know, there it is. Um, and then, of course, you still have Spotify, which is for, for all intents and purposes free. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's that's why all of us love streaming, even though we all also own hard content like CDs and LPs and so on. Okay, moving on. Quality of sound. Jay? Oh, I already said, I already said, I already said something about that. Okay. But, you know, I think 
you know, I think um, it's a, as good as vinyl. <laughs> another subject for another day. But uh, <laughs> um, I think streaming is a valid way, especially because it adds the convenience factor. Well, that's um, the biggest a thing. A lot of ways, you know, I don't have time to spin vinyl. You know, I, as much as I love it, you know, I don't often have You time never to have vinyl. to spin vinyl. You just desire to spin vinyl. Well, I'm saying the time. Okay, right? sure. So um, I'm brain farting this morning, but uh, streaming is convenient and you can play music fast. It sounds great and, you know, it sounds better than Bluetooth. Sorry, friends. <laughs> friends, stop. <laughs> stop Bluetooth. Uh, quality. Um, obviously, we're die diehard audiophiles here so we will always preface something when the question of quality comes up by saying well it could be better and so streaming could be better but i also tell everyone who comes in through the door that uh we're going to be using this streamer and we're using title because that we have access we have a title account and now just recently we're using Cobuzz and we'll do the demo and I'll play you material from that. And we don't use physical disc players anymore. I almost never uh, demo with vinyl. Streaming is the de facto standard now. The quality is more than sufficient. Even 1644 material, which is basically a CD, is more than sufficient on a, a good streamer to um you know to captivate anyone who comes in here and wants that kind of like um ultimate audio experience it's it's more than good enough it already is and it can only get better it can only get better we are such we're so still in the very beginnings of what um that kind of digital delivery system can do okay so let's let's now go a little bit deeper because some streamers are strictly devices that then output a digital signal. Other streamers have a DAC built in, and in some cases, even a volume control, like a digital preamp in essence. Um, so uh, we should talk a little bit about that so that uh, our viewers can understand that there are these different types. So uh, Jay, do you wanna talk well, about Well, I mean, if you look at something like the Hegel H190 or the H120 or the, their integrated amplifiers, that's like an, in, it's, it's an integrated amplifier because you have a streamer, a DAC, a preamp, and an amp. So um, other units uh, can I, can have, uh, so if it has more than one functionality, then technically it's an integrated unit. So if it can be, it can be a DAC, it can be a uh, preamplifier added to it. Um, I mean, depends on what your system needs. Um, you can, you can have that option depending on which streamer you go with. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Yeah, I, I just wanted, I just wanted the viewers, especially if, if, if you're not, if you're new to this industry, uh, to be aware that you can get a streamer in a variety of different ways or forms. Um, so there's, ones where it's just a black box that receives a digital signal and it outputs a digital signal. And then there are other ones where, as Jay pointed out, you can have an amplifier, a preamplifier, in other words, the control section, um, the digital converter, which is something that takes a, dig a, a digital signal and converts it to analog so we can hear it. Um, I think if you're looking for a streamer specifically, then um, the only thing that you have to be careful about is does your streamer, well, not be careful about per se, but, you know, does your streamer actually have a DAC inside or not? Um, do you have, do you already have a separate DAC that you want to use with the streamer? So streamers can come with a DAC or without a DAC. So that's the choice that you have to make. Do you want to use a separate DAC or do you want to use the DAC inside the streamer? And then the other thing is that virtually all AV receivers today have streamers built in. So if you've got an AV receiver and you're thinking about streaming, chances are your AV receiver, if it's relatively recent, will have a streaming capability built in. But the other thing that's also interesting is that not all streamers can stream um, music services like Tidal and Cobots. Some do not have that built in. Um, or so, Boon Endpoint or BNN. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all, that's all software related. In other words, 
the, 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 the electronics of it, they're all fairly similar to a degree. Um, like I said, it has to be some sort of little tiny computing device, which you might or might not know about. It doesn't really matter, but that's the core of it is it, everything is computerized now. So it doesn't matter what your, you know, it could be your toaster. It could have a computer in it. And not uh, even stream. <laughs> and not even stream. So there, I'm sure there are refrigerators that will play music, right? Uh, if it, if you can send, um, you know, if it has an IP. Yeah. If you can assign an IP to it, it might be a streamer. Uh, so let's talk about control. How do you control a streamer, Jay? How do you control it? So, so, well, see, I understand that for a lot of people who are watching, they don't know that. So okay. if they buy a streamer, how are they supposed to control it? How are they supposed to uh, un, um, choose a streaming service like a title on Spotify or change songs or whatever? How does that work? Well, well for, 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 first of all, um, you have to connect the streamer to an Ethernet cable, right? To your uh, to your network. Or it's Wi-Fi. Right? Or, or Wi-Fi yeah. in certain cases. Um, and then you have to go to your iPad and you have to download if it's if, if it works with rune you can download rune if you you know if it works with, with upmp then you have to download something called a upmp app which is a third party app that you just go to your play store on your phone and then type in upmp and then it will show up you pick one you like i use bubble upmp you download it and then you go on to that you log into your title there's a title icon on almost virtually every upmp software you click on the title icon, you log into your title, and then you play your music, and then it will give you an option to play off your phone or your streamer that's connected to your uh, internet. You might want to uh, do a, a screenshot. Not, not connected to your internet, connected to your network. Network, sorry. Yeah, do a screenshot video sure. and, and show how that works. And so it's really that simple. The, the cool thing is that your, your tablet or your phone <coughs> is now your remote control. Once you open it, you can select the songs, uh, cover art, um, artists, um, it's a genre and choose the songs or playlist that you want and, and then go from there. It's really simple and it's wonderful. As, as Philip says, you've got the world's biggest music database. You just have to, uh, look at the, streamer you're you, you're looking at and um go on the website and stuff and then see you know it does, does it do NQA does it do this does it do that you know see, let's see. not get into that okay. because that's right. gets gets complicated <laughs> for some people um so yeah so think of it basically as a tuner you you use your phone or your tablet as the remote control and now you have access to all these songs it's it's wonderful um then let's uh, oh, by the way, and last thing, some streamers have their own dedicated uh, apps. And when that when that's available, use those because they're designed specifically for that streamer. And then I guess the last part of streaming is let's give some examples of streamers. So uh, st streamers, uh, TVs now have streamers built in as well as an example. But so in, in my uh, quick Googling, the cheapest streamer you can buy is something like the chromecast that's 49 you can't buy that anymore oh it's gone they stopped manufacturing it i googled it's 40 dollars. you People might be able still buy a copy like in other words they might have some physically around but yeah. uh google is no longer making it okay well anyway online they're still available for 40 dollars, 39.95 in the store we have one that i absolutely love Right, Billet, which one is it? Really cheap, works all the time. Yeah, the MSB here. The <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. No, that's the one above. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's called a mainstream Omni. Yeah. It's like two hundred to two hundred fifty dollars. It's a small little cube. It's fantastic. It works all the time. Always works. That yeah, works. the Wi-Fi is super robust. It's super easy to set Amazing. up. Amazing. 200, 250 bucks. I can't remember exactly, but that's a great way. If you, if you've never done streaming or if you want something just for a, a simple application, look at that. Uh, now guys, what else would you, would you come up with as far as streamers as examples? Well, we just, uh, Blue Sound. Blue Sound, we just took on because it actually, you know, is really well thought out product in lots of different ways. We don't have enough time to go into it here, but I highly recommend it. Um, it's $650 yep. and it actually Brilliant. sounds really, really good. 
Um, and so the that's, operating software is wonderful. Yeah, Blue OS is fully formed now. It's it, it works quite well, and um, it, it you can run Rune on it too, which I highly recommend. Which you know, like that's takes it to another level. But for six hundred and fifty dollars, I mean, Lumen, no brainer. No Inuus. Inuus would be next. Inuus, which is sixteen fifty. There's Lumen, which starts at about three. Um, and then, yeah, PS Audio, there's, uh, what else do we carry? There's, there's, well, well these are just obviously the ones, Macintosh. Right. And these are just the ones we carry. There's obviously all kinds that we don't carry. So there's a very large Cambridge Audio. There's lots and lots and lots of streamers out there. We carry the ones that we carry because we like them. They work well. They sound great, easy to use. Um, so these are some examples of, of streamers that, uh, we would suggest that you look into. And, um, I have it here that, uh, how to be used, but Jay had already covered that. You just connect it to your network at home. It's magic. <laughs> it's <laughs> magical. You, you connect it to your network, you download the app and, you know, uh, uh, if you have any questions, obviously just send us an email and we'll try and help you there. Um, I think that covers uh, everything we wanted to talk about. Like it's so things. simple. If you bought the mainstream, I can literally show you within five minutes of me opening the box that you're connected. Yeah. Here's, here's a little trick that will make your lives a lot easier. Buy a streamer, call a store, ask for Villa, <laughs> not, not Jay or Adrian, ask for Villa. And, and then I will direct you to either <laughs> Jay or Adrian and they'll guide you through all the steps. But usually I have to refer you to one of them. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that, <laughs> and that's why. By the way, if I, if I if I if I'm in the store and the phone rings and I actually happen to pick up the phone because none of the other guys have picked up the phone, um, you will notice that most of the time I don't actually answer the, the the questions because one, most of the time I don't know what the the answer is, and number two, the guys are the ones that do all of the answering. So, anyway, um, this video has gone again long, long, long enough as usual. So uh, we're going to wrap up. Again, as always, if you like the video, please support us. Uh, subscribe, uh, turn on the notification, give a thumbs up. Um, the money that we get from uh, YouTube, we match and donate uh, to the Salvation Army. So thank you very much for that. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.